death and sorrow, earth dark story to the former days belong. All around the clouds are breaking, soon the storms of time shall cease. In God's likeness, people waking, know the everlasting peace. Life eternal, oh what wonders, crowd on faith, what joy unknown. When amid earth's closing thunders, saints shall stand before the throne. Oh, to enter that bright portal, see that glowing firmament. Know with you, O oh God immortal, Jesus Christ, whom you have sent. Today and tomorrow, we remember all the dead, those in heaven and those still on their way. God alone knows where each soul is. Today's feast celebrates the saints in heaven, holy men and women of every time and place. We hope some of our people are among them. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. In remembrance of our beloved faithful departed, we have placed their names in the violet box. We now light the Paschal candle, the symbol of the risen Lord, who conquered sin and death, and who promised new life to those who believe. A white cloth is placed over the box to remind us of the white garment with which we were clothed in baptism, signifying our dignity as children of God. And to symbolize our love and prayers for them, we now place the incense. For us to worthily offer our prayers in this holy mass let us first recall our sins and ask god for his pardon and mercy you were sent to heal the contrite of heart lord have mercy lord have mercy you came to call sinners christ have mercy christ have mercy you are seated at the right hand of the father to intercede for us lord have mercy lord have mercy may almighty god have mercy on us forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life amen glorify you we give you thanks for your great glory lord god heavenly king o god almighty father lord jesus christ only begotten son lord god lamb of god son of the father you take away the sins of the world 
have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace on earth, peace to people of good Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, by whose gift we venerate in one celebration the merits of all the saints, bestow on us, we pray, to the prayer of so many intercessors an abundance of the reconciliation with you for which we earnestly long through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Revelation. I, John, saw another angel come up from the east, holding the seal of the living God. He cried out in a loud voice to the four angels who were given power to damage the land and the sea. Do not damage the land or the sea or the trees until we put the seal on the foreheads of the servants of our God. I heard the number of those who had been marked with the seal, 144,000 marked from every tribe of the Israelites. After this, I had a vision of a great multitude, which no one could count, from every nation, race, people, and tongue. They stood before the throne and before the Lamb, wearing white robes and holding palm branches, their hands. They cried out in a loud voice, Salvation comes from our God, who is seated on the throne, and from the Lamb. All the angels stood around the throne, and around the elders and the four living creatures. They prostrated themselves before the throne, worshipped God, and exclaimed, Amen, blessing and glory, wisdom and thanksgiving, honor, power, and might be to our God forever and ever. Amen. Then one of the elders spoke up and said to me, Who are these wearing white robes and where did they, they come from? I said to him, My Lord, you are the one who knows. He said to me, these are the ones who have survived the time of great distress. They have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you. 
are the earth and its fullness, the world and those who dwell in it. For he founded it upon the seas and established it upon the rivers. ascend the mountain of the Lord or who may stand in his holy place one whose hands are sinless whose heart is clean who desires not what is vain shall receive a blessing from the Lord, a reward from God his Savior. Such is the race that seeks for him, that seeks the face of the God of Jacob. from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, see what love the Father has bestowed on us, that we may be called the children of God. Yet so we are. The reason the world does not know us is that it did not know Him. Beloved, we are God's children now. What we shall be has not yet been revealed. We don't know that when it is revealed, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. Everyone who has this hope based on him makes himself pure as he is pure. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We now rise to honor the Holy Gospel. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. When Jesus saw the crowds, he went up on the mountainside. After he had sat down, his disciples gathered around him, and he began to teach them. How blessed are the poor in spirit, the reign of God is theirs. 
Blessed too are the sorrowing, they shall be consoled. Blessed are the lowly, they shall inherit the land. Blessed are they who hunger and thirst for holiness, they shall have their fill. Blessed are they who show mercy, mercy shall be theirs. Blessed are the single-hearted, for they shall see God. Blessed too the peacemakers, they shall be called sons of God. Blessed are those persecuted for holiness sake, the reign of God is theirs. Blessed are you when they insult you and persecute you and utter every kind of slander against you because of me. Be glad and rejoice, for your reward in heaven is great. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Una sa lahat, gusto po kayong batiin to welcome you all sa ating pong ginagawang Santa Misa. We, nasa, tayo po ay nasa Daisisan Shrine of Jesus the Divine Word, Christ the King, Mission Seminary. Our location is we are in Quezon City, Philippines. I have to specify it because by, at this moment, we have plenty of attendees in the online. We are in the thousands. Of course, muna dito rin sa loob ng simbana na sa labas. So God be with you. God is faithful. Our God is the God of light and the God of reversal. He will change our destiny just like what He did to the saints. Those who trusted in God and relied to His grace, the Lord will change their destiny. All shall be well, according to one of our priests here in the Christ the King. Nang bata po ako, uh, hindi ko alam na iba pala ang November 1 sa November 2. I thought isang celebration lang because November 1 pa lang, yung tatay ko will always already bring us sa cementerio. So I thought November 1 pa lang ay All Souls Day na. But as I was growing up, I was able to identify na iba pala. November 1 is celebration for all the mga santo. At November 2 ay for all the souls. And who are the saints? Sino ba itong mga santong ito? I think they can be described by this simple statement. They are the ones who faithfully follow Jesus. And when you say po, faithful, yung nagtyaga, who persevered until the end. They persevered in faith. They persevered in hoping. And they persevered in doing good works. So that's how we can put into simple words what is a saint. So may, at ang, ang solemni po, po lang ito, I say so much about the God whom we are worshiping. Pinapaala sa atin sa araw na ito na ang ating Diyos talaga ay punong-puno na pagmamahal sa bawat isa. Sabi po ni Pope Francis, ang mga santo daw, nagiging santo, they were saved not so much because of how they live their lives, but because dahil sa awa ng Diyos, dahil sa awa ng Diyos, because no one is born saint. Kaya just in case you feel so bad about yourself, because you come from a background, or you do like what's happening to you in the past, kindly hold on. Because no one is born a saint. It's an ongoing process. Because saints too are human, but blessed by God. Meaning, God can intervene in the course of our journey to change something. God can intervene to transform our lives. At ibig sabihin pala, when God can intervene, He can change. He can turn sinners into saints. He has the power and the capacity to do that. And since God has the capacity, He also has the capacity to implant in us the capacity to be transformed according to His image. Ang common po about sa karamihan ng mga santo ay they felt so much the forgiveness of God and they felt God put them back together. 
God qualifies them even they are not qualified just like all of us before God we may not be qualified but God qualifies us he made he, he chose us each one of us is chosen and each one of us is known by God kilala and he made us become members of his body sa pamagitan po ni Jesus kaya thanks be to God he made us his own we are all his children anong lesson po nito sa atin ibig sabihin pala no walang tao no person is hopeless walang situation na isang buhay ng tao na hopeless so never say na my situation is hopeless i think that's the greatest sin when you lose the yung di ba, the greatest sin is yung sin against the spirit that's it when you say i'm hopeless don't say that to yourself kasi even god will not tell it to you because he knows he see more of you He see the deeper of you. He see the long term of you. That there is a destiny for everyone. A good destiny. No human being is hopeless. No family is hopeless. No life is hopeless. That's why He came to put life, to put grace, to bring something good about our life, to heal. There is no hopeless situation because God will supply the grace. So just in case if anyone among us feel so bad about ourselves because of the sin we had in the past or just in case we have bad habits that is difficult to let go or remove or we are overwhelmed by anxiety fear, problem, sickness again, pinapala po sa atin God will never give, give up on us because all, He knows what we are going through and God will make His way to supply with this grace. So pangalo din po pala, paalala sa atin ngayon, kung kanina, I told you, do not tell yourself na hopeless. Pati rin po kayo, do not, think, do not tell other people or think of other people that they too are hopeless. Because the moment we do that, that's what you call condemnation. Parang ano na, hinahatulan na natin, natapos na kanilang paglalakbay sa lupang ibabaw, na tuloy-tuloy po, that's the power of God, that's the power of love, that's why be positive. So, when you look at somebody, be positive, I can see that better days are ahead of you because God is actively working in you. His grace will not fade. His grace is unlimited, bottomless. So, when I see all of you, and all those in the online right now, thousands of you, I see that better days are ahead of you. Not because I can predict it, but because I can know God is overwhel- overwhelmingly, unlimitedly, giving all the best for all of us. So be positive. The Lord, be uplifted by God's love. Rely on His grace. So do not condemn, do not judge. When you feel so, when you're already judging others or judging yourself, tell yourself, suspend the judgment, suspend. Because it's God who will widen your perspective. So ganun po, just in case you come to the point that your, your, your mindset is going narrow, kindly pause for a while and ask the Holy Spirit, change me. Widen my perspective, widen my road. So do not tell anyone na uy wala nang mangyari sa buhay niyan. God will not even say that. Meron magandang mangyari because God is faithful and generous. At ginawa niya po ito sa mga santo. Kaya mga santo, model para sa atin. Kung nauni sila, susunod tayo. Kung hindi man susunod, it's already happening right now. The fact that you are listening. If you feel that nothing is happening with your life, no, do not believe that. I believe you are better than yesterday. Kahit dahan-dahan lang yan. But I believe you are no better than yesterday. Pangalo din po pala, pinapala sa atin, na mga santo pala ay, they are faithful in prayer. Kahit sila makasalanan din, but one thing is sure sa kanila, they are consistent in prayer and work. They love to pray. They soak themselves in prayer. And the Mass is the center of the Eucharist. Wala pa akong santong nabasa 
hindi nagdarasal, all of them are prayerful, and they love the Holy Mass. At pangatlo, they work a lot. Meron silang vision, may passion sila sa buhay. Like John Bosco, John Bosco. Nang bata ako, narinig ko yung kaklasik ko. Alam, kasi doon may technical school ang mga Don Bosco. Sabi ko, ano yan? Kaya pala yun ang mission ni St. Don Bosco. Yung mga orphan, mga homeless na children, nilagay niya sa isang magandang compound, pinapaaral. So you see, saints have a passion. Also Mother Teresa. So ang point ko po dito, as a closing sa aking homily, we too are entrusted by God with a mission. So sana yung buhay natin also may be driven with purpose, be driven with a mission, and be driven by love and faith in God. Kasi alam nyo naman, at the end of the day, what matter most is we are able to accomplish the mission of God has entrusted to each one of us. Meron pong in inilaan para sa isa't isa. So ano itong mga inilaan? Tatlo. Una muna, lahat tayo ay merong common vocation, common calling. Ang common calling natin according sa turo ng simbahan is una, ang makilala ang Diyos, ang makilala. Kaya sa may magulang dito, ituro nyo na may Diyos. You teach your children that there's a God. I think that's the best legacy. You teach them. Kasi that's the number one task of every person to know that there is God. Pangalawa, to serve God. At pangatlo, to love God. At didagdagan po ito ng simbahan. Our common vocation also is to respect our body. Because without the body, you will not anymore be here. Sayang naman. So try all your best, if according to God's plan, to live a long life. You maximize your stay on earth so that you can, you can maximize your enjoyment at the same time, capacity to to be here. Kasi isang best lang tayo pupunta dito. Isang ratsyada lang ito. Sayang naman. Hindi na ito kasi maulit eh. So kindly make a way to prolong your life if it's in accordance to God's plan. Ibig sabihin, do not abuse your body. Affirm your life also. Kindly like yourself. That's one of the mission you have to do. You appreciate yourself. Affirm yourself. Care, take good care of yourself. And also respect and care for other creation. Pangalawa naman daw, ito na yung specific na vocation naman. Uh, depende na ito kung anong binigay na Panginoong Diyos sa inyo. Either you can be married, you can be single, or you can be religious. Basta ang mahalaga, you give your best shot. And last po pala, I think lahat naman tayo binigyan ng gift ng Panginoong Diyos. So, find your passion in life. Alam yung passion, burning. Find where you are good at. Find where you are good at. Develop it. O baka you can find two, three, four, or discover. Hasain yung sarili nyo. Hasain. Hasain. Para <laughs> hasain nyo. So be passionate. Be engaged. Yeah. Passionate engagement to life. Kasi ganyan po ang ginawa ng mga santo. They, because they know that meron pala, God gave them the opportunity to make an impact and contribute to the growth of the, of the other. So be passionate. Find yourself where you are good at. Huwag niyong isipin na, Father, there's nothing good in me. No, there's something good in you. That's why I am encouraging you. Find it. Find more. Develop more. Sharpen more. So that you can passionately engage and give yourself to the church, to others, to your family, and to yourself, and to your God. So God bless everyone. Continue believing. Continue hoping. And persevere. Until the end. Magsitayo po tayo. Because it's solemnity, we are going to together recite the profession of faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, 
consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Prayer of the faithful, let us bring our prayers to God who created the earth and its fullness. Response, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. For the church, the earthly home of all saints, may she be the loving mother who teaches her children to pursue their sanctification by living the values enshrined in the Beatitudes. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the Holy Father and all other spiritual leaders, may they be living beacons of holiness patterned after the example of Jesus and Mary and all the saints. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For all our leaders, may they give justice to the oppressed, work for true peace, and with the right use of funds and resources, ensure that our countrymen do not go hungry or thirsty. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For Christians who are persecuted for their faith, may they stand firm in the face of suffering and death, confident of the glorious reward that awaits them in heaven. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. For all the baptized, that they may enter the company of saints. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. For people of every nation, that they may work to rid this world of injustice. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. For those whose lives are plagued by doubt and despair, that they may have God's grace to help them. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the sick, that their friends who have reached heaven may encourage them. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For people who are lonely, that they may experience God's closeness. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For all our deceased brothers and sisters, may they be admitted to the joys of eternal life in heaven through the mercy of God and the intercession of all the saints. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us, May we discover anew the call to become saints and pursue this goal through the generous fulfillment of our duties in imitation of the saintly people who have preceded us. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray in silence for our personal intentions. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. God of heaven and earth, you reward those with clean hands and pure hearts. In our unworthiness, we bring our prayers to you 
through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. With all the saints, with prophets and martyrs, with holy Mary and Joseph, with those who came before and those who will follow, we gather here today, one body in the a sign and sacrament of Christ. So may this flock, this church once more gathered, faithfully follow its shepherd's voice to be a living son of the love of God and neighbor. We gather here today, one body in the Lord, a sign and sacrament of Christ. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May these offerings we bring in honor of all the saints be pleasing to you, O Lord, and grant that, just as we believe the saints to be already assured of immortality, we may experience their concern for our salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks Lord Holy Father Almighty and eternal God, for today, by your gift, we celebrate the festival of your city, the heavenly Jerusalem, our mother, where the great array of our brothers and sisters already gives you eternal praise. Towards her, we eagerly hasten as pilgrims advancing by faith, Rejoicing in the glory bestowed upon those exalted members of the church through whom you give us in our frailty both strength and good example. And so we glorify you with a multitude of saints and angels as with one voice of praise we acclaim. Indeed, holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At that time, he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, 
and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins, do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith As we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Onesto Ong Choco, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. Let us pause for a while and lift up to the Lord members of our family and friends who have gone ahead of us. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. gathering all our prayers into one let us pray the lord's prayer Come, come. 
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you. My peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Ang kapayapaan at ipayin ng Diyos ay laging sumain inyo. At sumain rin. Let us offer and share to one another the peace of Christ. Peace to all of you, those in Facebook and YouTube channels. Peace to all of you and your entire family. Jesus, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Jesus, Word of love, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Brothers and sisters, this is our Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God, the one who will lift us up will bring light and hope to our lives, will bring healing, will bring new direction. Receive Him because He is the Lamb of God. Receive Him because He will take away the sins of the world. And blessed are you and all those called to the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us rejoice and be glad 
We rise for the prayer after communion. As we adore you, O God, who alone are holy and wonderful in all your saints, we implore your grace so that, coming to perfect holiness in the fullness of your love, we may pass from this pilgrim table to the banquet of our heavenly homeland through Christ our Lord. Amen. Oratio Imperata. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country and the whole world. We pray for our health workers, that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted, may they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them, grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all these through the Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph. Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel. Pray for us. San Roque. Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod. Pray for us. Saints Arnold Jansen and Joseph Reynadimitz. Pray for us. Please be seated for some announcement. For our annual commemoration of the faithful departed, we have prepared envelopes where you can write their names to be included in our Masses. 
You can find them at the entrance of the shrine or at the shrine office. For those who cannot come here, you may also send the names of your beloved departed through our shrine email, shrine of Jesus the Divine Word at gmail.com, or you may send it via bit.ly slash shrine intentions. If you have any other questions, please contact the shrine office through our email or our phone numbers 0928 393 zero four zero zero or seven seven five four two five zero seven you may also visit our facebook page diocesan shrine of jesus the divine word our mass schedule for the undas 2021 for tomorrow are 6 30 a.m 8 a.m 10 a.m 12 noon and 6 p.m for our Masses for the month of November, the Mass intentions will be flashed 30 minutes before the start of the Mass. Thank you very much, Father Ronnie R. Chrysostomo, SVD, Shrine Rector. Kindly rise. Meron pong special prayer for the departed, which I will be reciting. Let us pray for all the faithful departed especially those buried in the Garden of the Divine Word Columbary and all Catholic cemeteries. By your resurrection from the dead, O Christ, death no longer has dominion over those who die in holiness. So we beseech you, give rest to your servants in your sanctuary and in Abraham's side. Grant it to those who from Adam until now have adored you with sincerity of heart to our parents to our brothers and sisters to our relatives friends and benefactors to all who have lived by faith along their way to you by a thousand ways and in all conditions and make them worthy of the heavenly kingdom in your name O Christ we ask this to the merciful Father Amen Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord. And let perpetual light shine upon them. May they rest in peace. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May the God, may God the Father of mercy, who created you for the joys of heaven, grant you the abundance of everlasting life with Him. Amen. May God the Son, who became a human being and died on the cross for our sake, enable you to enjoy the fruits of His incarnation, death, and resurrection. Amen. May God the Holy Spirit, who purifies you with His presence and strengthens you with His grace, lead you to the home of all the saints in heaven. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, descend upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go in peace and live as holy children of God. Thanks, Thanks be, to, be God. to God.